So this turns out to be a pretty good spot. I literally came up in here, spun the boat around, and paddled right up next to my shoes, and I did this little scoot thing, and I've scooted my boat up, so it's very stable. I'm literally sitting on the ground more than on the water, so I should be able to just step over into my shoes uh, without turning my boat over, which is anybody that's ever been in a kayak and tried to get in and out of one on the water with it wobbling around and getting in and out of your shoes or getting in the boat without bringing all the lake water with you. I know what I mean. You need a good solid place to get to. And this spot right here isn't too muddy. I mean, think about it. I stepped it right out of my shoes right there and I didn't sink down in the mud or anything. Um, and I can get my boat, you know, by doing this, I can get my boat literally up onto the hard ground and I can do the same thing. Give it a push with a paddle and get myself out on the water the same way. So, Oh, I'm loving it. Y'all probably get tired of hearing me say that, but I do. So here's an interesting piece of history I discovered walking back up to the house. You see the line in the bottom of that tree and in the bottom of that tree? When I saw that, I thought barbed wire fence. I got up a little closer to it and the barbed wire fence has... When this tree was alive, the barbed wire fence grew into the tree. And it's still there, even though the tree isn't, isn't alive anymore. It just That kind of tells a story. This is where the fence used to be. I'm guessing they had cattle roaming around in the hills back in here. <laughs> oh, the joy. Bye-bye.